Hello and welcome to another video by Day Night Gaming. Now today I'd like to showcase for you a raid guide to Eden's Gate Resurrection in the MMORPG known as Final Fantasy XIV. Now there's a level 80 raid that was introduced in Shadowbringers and today we'll be showcasing it in the tank point of view. Now before we begin I must point out that there is a yellow line on the exterior of the battlefield. Any player that touches that will be KO'd so avoid that at all costs. Spear of Paradise is a multi-hit tank buster, main tank, use defensive cooldown. Eden's Gravity is an AoE damage attack that will hit all players on the map, so healers use AoE heals as necessary. This first vice and virtue will target four players, which are usually the DPS, with circular AOE markers. These four players should move to the edges of the map. When the attack goes off, please take note that anyone in these zones will take damage, so the four players should move away from each other. Eden's Flare is a large donut AOE. All players should move to the center underneath the boss in order to avoid taking damage. This second Vice and Virtue, indicated by these two orange target markers, are directional line AoEs which will target both tanks. Both these players need to navigate the field to make sure that there are no players standing behind them when this goes off. When you see the boss turn into a ball and teleport to a corner, that will be an indication that he'll be using an ability called Pure Light. This attack is a frontal cone that deals extremely high AoE damage. All players should stand behind the boss at one of the corners, but make sure not to touch the yellow line as that will KO them. Delta Attack will put a cross-line AoE zone on the map simultaneously while also putting a circular target marker on top of each of the players. All players should make sure to exit the line zone while also spreading out it to make sure that they don't overlap any of the circular AoEs. When the attack goes off, both the circular AoEs as well as the line AoEs will go off simultaneously. Dimensional Shift is a raid-wide AoE attack that will hit all players. After that, the map tiles will change from blue into red. This will signify that there's a visual cue that will indicate to players that an intense phase of dodging will occur. At this point, an attack called Pure Beam will create multiple line AoEs across the map. Dodge as many as possible to make sure that you do not get any vulnerability stacks. Getting hit by multiple lines can cause quite a large amount of damage, especially if they are layered on top of each other. The boss will also use an attack known as Paradise Lost. This will drop circle AoEs around the map simultaneously while Pure Beams is in effect. Take your time and dodge both these attacks, but be mindful that the boss will be using Pure Light near the end of this attack. Be mindful of where he teleports. Once he goes to a corner, make sure to hide behind him. Once again, make sure not to touch the yellow line as that will KO your character. After using Pure Light, the boss will then use a dimensional shift, this time reverting the map tiles from red back to blue. After this, a raid-wide AoE will hit. All players will take damage. It is recommended that the healers AoE heal at this point. Eventually, the boss will use an attack known as Fragger Maximus. This will deal raid-wide AoE damage to all players. It is highly recommended that the healers AoE heal at this point. Please note that this is a transitional phase and the boss will disjoint off the map. After doing so, two distance type AoEs will appear on the east and west parts of the map. So the players are to head toward the north and the south to avoid as much damage as possible. After the meteors land, in their place 
two Guardians of Paradise will spawn. Each tank shall grab a different Guardian of Paradise and destroy them as needed. After both Guardians of Paradise are destroyed, the party will get a few moments of breathing time as you will be subjected to an unskippable cutscene. After this cutscene, all previous attacks except for Fragor Maximus will repeat. Deal with those instances as you would have before and rinse and repeat until the boss is defeated. Please take note that the Guardians of Paradise will be using an ability called Mana Burst which is a raid wide AoE and the healers should AoE heal as necessary. After the unskippable cutscene, upon landing back into the battlefield, all players will take a large amount of damage. It is very important that the healers AoE heal the party to full, as the boss will re-enter the battlefield and begin using hard-hitting attacks on the tank, such as Viking Virtue and Spear of Paradise. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider smashing that thumbs up button. 
uh, hit that subscribe and ring that bell uh, for notifications on future videos that I might be posting. And until next time, take care. Goodbye.